Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am excited to share with you this delicious taco casserole that does not take long to make. It's super easy, it's super delicious, and it's very good for you. So let's get into this. I'm in a whole new environment. Yes, we are finally in our new house. I'm so excited. <laughs> We've been here for about two weeks, working on three weeks. Now, although this kitchen isn't my favorite kitchen, let me switch it around for you and show you those of you who haven't been um, over on Instagram following me. Now, design-wise, I wouldn't say this is like my ideal kitchen. As far as maybe I should say looks goes, like, I'm not sure what's going on up there. And um, there actually used to be a matching window right here that we went ahead and had closed off, sheet rocked um, for now until we're able to really get our hands on this kitchen and have it look the way we want it to. But I gotta say, I'm, I'm really kind of learning to love it. This whole area right here is like my little, um, Instagram, TikTok, real area, and YouTube area to make food. So the dish you see today, I'm actually gonna be making right here. I love all these drawers that I have in my other um, kitchen. We had a lot of cabinets, which are great, you know, a lot of cabinet doors. Um, but I really love the fact that I have so many drawers. Like, I feel like the kitchen has more drawers than doors so anyway I'm learning to live with it you know with real estate the way that it is um, we really are on a tight budget for any type of renovations and um, we discovered when we moved in that we needed to really gut our entire master bathroom and redo that so the money that I had saved to paint these cabinets and get rid of the glass up there um, and get new countertops that is being used to renovate our master bathroom, so we have a bathroom. Yeah, the little small renovations I wanna do to the kitchen are just gonna have to wait, but you know what? I'm having fun, and again, like I said, I'm learning to love the kitchen the way that it is. Um, super functional, and uh, yeah, so. That's it. If you want to see more of our new home and some of the different things that we're doing to it, make sure you're following me over on Instagram because um, I'm showing a lot of that in my stories. All right, so let's get right to this dish. You guys, this is one that um, I've been making quite a bit the last two weeks because like I said in the beginning of this video, it's delicious, it's easy to make, um, but it's just like a one pot deal or I should say pan deal, because you put everything in a pan and bake it in the oven. It's so super easy, cleanup is easy, so yeah, I've been making it a lot, and I think you guys will love it, so let me show you how I do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is chop up some bell peppers and onions. Now you can buy these already chopped up. That would definitely go quicker. You can buy these frozen and defrost them. It really is whatever you want. You can buy red ones, you can buy orange ones. I just had green ones on hand and decided to use those. So I am just chopping up this bell pepper. And you can use, you know, one or two. I'm just doing one for this recipe. And then I'm also going to chop up one white onion. Um, you can do a red onion. You know, again, it, it doesn't matter. It just, um, you just want to do an onion. <laughs> you could do half of an onion. I'm just doing one whole onion. And then we are going to take either um, like a nonstick baking dish like this from Caraway. These are awesome, you guys. They are completely nonstick. No oil necessary. Um, no parchment paper necessary. If you don't have a nonstick pan, you can definitely line this with parchment paper um, to avoid using oil. But the first thing we're going to do is put in two cups of rice. Now, again, to make this go quicker, you can do 
um, I, I would actually do frozen rice and defrost it and then just go ahead and put that in there. But right now I'm doing two cups of just dry rice and then about a cup to two cups of corn. You can do canned corn, frozen corn, and then obviously I put the peppers and onions in there. I'm now putting in one can of crushed tomatoes. I believe this is fire roasted tomatoes. You can use whichever type of crushed or diced, diced tomatoes you like. Rotel would be really good in here. And then after that, we're gonna be adding our beans. Now, I typically will use black beans or pinto beans for this. I thought today I would use this bean trio. It's pinto black and red kidney beans. Now, I always do a BPA-free lining can, and I try to do um, low sodium or no salt added. If you can't find no salt added like I have here today, make sure you rinse these beans really well to get all that extra added sodium off of it. Um, you can also do beans that you just went ahead and soaked overnight if you like. Now I'm adding two cups of veggie broth. If you're doing the dried rice, you might wanna do about three cups um, of veggie broth, but normally just two cups of veggie broth. And then we're gonna do some taco seasoning. I get this at Whole Foods. It's vegan, no oil in there, um, and the sodium's actually not that bad either for the whole packet. So I'm just gonna add the taco seasoning, and then we're gonna add just a little bit of our own spices. We're gonna do some cumin. Now I'm just kinda tossing this in there. You can do this to taste however you like it, but I'm doing about a tablespoon of cumin. And then I'm gonna do almost a tablespoon of paprika. I don't think I quite had, had enough, so it ended up being about probably a teaspoon and a half of paprika. And I do about um, two teaspoons of oregano. A Little bit of salt and pepper. And then that's it, you guys. Now, I know it looked pretty with everything all separated, like you see on Instagram, <laughs> but I don't know, it just feels better for me to mix it all up and make sure I have enough liquid in there for the rice to cook before I put it in the oven. So I'm just going to mix this up really quick and then, um, you know, and make sure like all the rice is kind of covered with liquid. I kind of pat it down a bit. And um, yeah, so then we're gonna pop this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. Now you need to check on this. Um, I only added two cups of veggie broth to this, which I ended up needing to add one more cup because I was doing the dried rice. Again, if you're using rice that's already cooked, um, <laughs> you probably only need about two cups of veggie broth. But I did it again, 400 degrees for 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, and it came out so delicious. Look at these pans, by the way. Nothing is sticking to them. They are amazing. I have a link in the description for you guys below with a little discount, so make sure you check that out. Now, my husband, I usually serve this just like this in a, in a bowl, but for me, I like to add a lot of butter lettuce to this. It is so delicious. Man, we have enjoyed eating this for the last two weeks, and we will continue to eat it. Good stuff. <laughs> All right, so that is it for me today. I would love to ask those of you who are new here to this channel to please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, on this channel, I love to share with you easy, delicious, whole food, plant-based recipes just like the one you saw today. I also love sharing with you tips and tricks um, on how I, again, easily uh, got healthy and lost up to 50 pounds of body fat. So if that sounds interesting to you, Please, I would love if you hit that subscribe button and stick around. Also, um, give you guys a little sneak peek of this empty room that I'm standing in. Um, if you wanna keep up with us on the little um, projects we're doing here in our new home, make sure, like I said earlier, you're following me over on Instagram. I'd love to see you over there. I kinda, in my stories, share a little bit more personal things, so yeah. We'll be upgrading this house probably for a while, but um, we are so happy to be here finally. We feel so blessed and just so grateful 
um, that we found something in that we love it. So anyway, I will be talking to you guys next week. Um, hope you have a fabulous week. Okay, bye. <laughs>